There are people on both sides of whether a therapy works or not and this can lead to a lot of general confusion over what actually does work or not. One controversy is over that of bioresonance. What is it? How does it work? How effective is it? You're about to find out. So what is bioresonance? This information is taken from electrodes placed at specific places on the body and connected to a computer that is designed to read the signals the electrodes send out. With the results, experts can see where a patient may need support and help to get their bodies back to their best form. This done through other various kinds of therapy depending on what the results share. While it sounds somewhat troubling and intense, bioresonance is actually a non-invasive therapy compared to a lot of more conventional therapies. Having been around since the 1800s, and popularized in the late 1900s as well as current day, bioresonance is a therapy that relies on specific machinery that measures the body's energy waves and uses that data to feed experienced professionals information that they can use to see how a body is deficient. In order to understand just how bioresonance works, let's use an example patient named Alan. Alan has been feeling poorly. He feels tired all the time, yet is unable to sleep. He is very forgetful, finds himself feeling very overwhelmed even by simple tasks and often has a hard time stringing sentences together. Alan heads to a bioresonance clinic and has an assessment done. This involves having electrodes connected to various parts of his scalp, arms and fingers. The test is short and focused mainly on looking at certain objects while the technician operates a computer that is taking in, and processing, the electrical waves coming from the body. At the end of the test, the technician uses the readings to see where Alan's body needs support and designs a program that uses regular bioresonance appointments to help provide natural healing. These appointments are paired with other kinds of therapy, depending the results, in order to give Alan the best experience. The bioresonance part of the therapy focuses on electrical currents being monitored and corrected using formulated software. The goal is to help the body heal itself and make itself stronger and better. At the end of the scheduled appointments, Alan is given another test to see how the body responds again. If the levels are considered to be normal, he can end his treatment. If some of them are still out of the preferred range, more treatments can be scheduled to help him further. When it comes to how effective bioresonance therapy is, some think it's similar to natural healing practices such as aura reading and Reiki. Others find it oriented to practices such as acupuncture or aromatherapy. Here's what you should know. It is effective at interpreting when the body is out of sync. A lot of the science with this non-invasive therapy is that its readings of the body's electrical signals is accurate and personalized to each patient. These can be interpreted to understand what part of the body is not operating at its full potential, versus those parts that working as they should be. Understanding what's working well and what's not working well is critical to making a plan to help the patient move forward. Bioresonance is not often prescribed on its own. Simply having bioresonance therapy on its own is very rare. The sessions focus on reading electrical currents through the electrodes and correcting any errors to help the body better itself. This is all well and good, but if the patient doesn't know what's wrong or what's being fixed, that's only half the puzzle. This non-invasive therapy is often combined with behavior therapies or health therapies. It is well established in natural healing. It's thought that bioresonance sessions, when paired with behavior therapies or other natural healing therapies, will help enhance the healing from the other kind of therapy. That is, bioresonance therapy will boost the other therapy that a patient is doing. Bioresonance, as a body-centered therapy, has been around for centuries and has a long history of positivity to support it. As far as its effectiveness in a specific patient, it all depends on their overall approach to their health and the program that is implemented.